Hello everyone. I welcome you all to yet another session on uh, question discussion, wherein I bring forward questions from different areas of quant, right? Uh, from point of view of, right, uh, preparing better for our uh, CAT examination. So here I bring you questions which are actually of CAT level difficulty, all right, from different topics. So today the question that I have for you, all right, is a question from your arithmetic section, which is one of the most important sections in your quant area in the CAT examination. You can pause the video now, all right, give this question a try, and then you can listen to the discussion that we shall be having. Right? I, however, will be starting the discussion right away. Right? So let's get started. With it. So the question says Raman bought three products A, B, and C, whose cost prices are in the ratio 8 is to 9 is to 10. So I may take the three products as given to me as A, B, C. Let us say their cost prices are A is some 8x, I'll take it, B is then 9x, and C is 10y, or even better, what I would say is let's take A as 8C, C is cost price then B will be 9C and C will be 10C. And please understand this is the name of the person. This is the variable C, cost price. Please differentiate. Next he says, and sold them at prices which are in the ratio, 4, 5, 6. So this is the selling price information. So let's write that selling price information. So the ratio is given to us as 4, 5, 6. So let's assume the selling price are 4S, 5S and 6S. Now, then he says his, if his profit percentage on product A was 20%, so here he made 20% profit, find his profit percentage on C. Okay. Now, let's do some calculations. So, when you go for the profit percentage on A, how do we calculate the profit percentage on A? It's nothing but the profit value of A. So, profit of A is going to be selling price of A minus the cost price of A. So, this is a profit and this is given to be 20%. Now, please note in your profit and loss, right? profit percentage is invariably calculated on the cost price always, unless otherwise specified. Right? We always calculate in our exams right? on the cost price, the profit percentage, the loss percentage. Similarly, just I'm just going one step further. In the same area, you have concept of discounts also. Discount percentage is always calculated on marked price, never on selling price or the cost price. Right? It's generally on marked price, right? uh, unless otherwise mentioned again. Right? So here the profit is 20% he says, 20% of what? 20% of cost price of A, which is 8C. So when you simplify, 4S minus 8C is going to be 20% of 8, which is what 10% is 0.8, 1.6C. So 4S will be equal to 8C plus 1.6C is 9.6C. So S upon C, the ratio of the variables, we get it as 9.6 by 4, which is nothing but 96 by 40, we may write. When you simplify it further, it's 12 by 5. So for the sake of simplification here, let us simply put S as 12K. If you want a variable, you may take it. Otherwise, you can skip that. That's not needed because the question is profit percentage. Percentage is a relative value. So the exact values don't matter. So I would do that. I won't put any K. I'll simply take S as 12, C as 5. So when I take S as 12 and C as 5, let us see what happens on C, on the C side. So can I say cost price of C after this is 10 into C, which is 10 into 5 is 50 units. Selling price of C is going to be 6S, 6 into 12, which is going to be 72 units, rupees or whatever. So clearly once you know selling price and cost price, we can calculate the profit percentage of C as the profit, which is 22, on cost price, which is 50 into 100. So when you simplify this, you should get your answer as 44%. All right. So 44%, which is option choice C, is going to be our correct answer. So say question from your profit and loss from your arithmetic section. Right? Not so difficult, all right? but such questions do come up in CAT. Right? So don't be surprised and don't be under the misconception that CAT only asks you Difficult questions, it does ask you difficult, but again, there would be some mostly moderate questions and few easy questions also. I hope you followed this. So on that note, you've come to the end of the video. So let me stop it here. But before uh, I end the video, I would like to just urge you all to subscribe the channel, right? 
keep following the content that we post here on a regular basis, right? And please interact, right? If you have a doubt, if you have uh, an opinion, please do share in the comments box, right? Uh, which we would certainly look at, right? If there's a doubt, either me or one of our teams, team member will get back to you, right? Uh, in the same kind of comment form, right? And in case of opinion, we'll certainly be uh, listening to it and see what can we do, all right? How can we do better? On that note, let me end the video here. Uh, thank you and all the very best.